And you interviewed both fifth and third graders? Writing the headlines at Red Cedar Elementary School. Students in the newspaper club are busy working on stories for their next issue. Finish up all the detail work you've got to do today. A team of volunteers work with the aspiring fifth grade journalists as they write for the Red Cedar Gazette. We really work on just trying to teach the kids how to write a newspaper story, how it's different than your regular writing, making sure there are interview tips, that they are um, engaging with their other students, and that they're really being a voice for all the students at Red Cedar Elementary. The group meets once a week, planning their stories, conducting interviews, and of course writing. I've learned to put the important information first. I like interviews interviewing them and I've learned that a lot of people like pets and that they all have different ideas and different opinions. When the students are done writing, the volunteers work with them to perfect their articles. I'm excited to read your story. What was your the end, we help them edit their stories. If they've got grammatical errors or things like that, we help fix those up and sometimes help streamline the uh, or tighten up the story as well so that the relevant facts rise to the top. Once an issue is published, every student and teacher in the school is given a copy to read and take home to share with their families. I feel really good and to know that people are reading what I'm writing and that people will <laughs> learn new things about different things. It feels really good to see the work that I put in and it's actually getting credit and people are looking at it. The volunteers hope by being in the newspaper club, the students are developing a passion for writing. I think it would be that writing is really fun and uh, that it's important to understand other people's opinions about the stories that you want to write about. So you can go out and do some research. Uh, you can go out and do some interviews and never hesitate to ask people what they think. Okay. This is the eighth year the Gazette is being published at Red Cedar Elementary School, Ron Lopes, Beaufort County School District.